Hello everyone and welcome to the Sports in Mathematics National Mathematics Day being celebrated by MATLAB Helper and Arawat Foundation. Today is the day which has been recognized by former Prime Minister of India in the memory of Acharya Ramanujam in 2011. Since 2011 we are celebrating 22 December every year as National Mathematics Day. Not just that, even in 2012 we celebrated the whole year as National Mathematics Year. Ramanujam, one of the most recognized celebrity a mathematician of his time, is most renowned for his work on infinite series of pi. I'm thankful to Arawat Foundation for providing support for organizing this session. We are going to cover pretty much everything with respect to mathematics. What we are going to do in this session is predicting the game of cricket. Right now I'm standing at the SMS Stadium in Jaipur, Rajasthan. So what we are going to do is we are going to predict what would be the outcome of cricket matches which are going to be played in 2019 ODI Cricket World Cup in England. So what we are going to do in the four episodes, I'll just summarize quickly right now. In the first session, that is the current session, we are going to talk about what exactly we are going to make in the application. This portion will also discuss how do we fetch the data. For fetching the data, we are going to use Crick Info Stats Guru. So we will be talking about that part. In second session, we are going to talk about how we are going to import the data from Excel file into MATLAB and how do we apply pre-processing to the data so that we can make it compatible to use it along with all the conditions we are going to talk about. In the third session, we are going to talk about application designing in MATLAB. So we are going to design the, uh, this application through App Designer tool in MATLAB as well as talk about the simulation part with an example how can we talk about the applications implementation and in the final session we are going to talk about the main logic how the matches are going to be played and how the result is going to be arrived in most of the websites we see they are talking about the prediction of the result how are they doing that we will be discussing about this point as well as we will talk about how can you make your own predictor for the cricket result not just that you can actually do the same for your football game or any other sports game as the name suggests this is sports in the mathematics we are taking the example of cricket but the same thing can be used by you with your own logic for predicting any sports games now talking about the fantasy cricket even i do play a fantasy cricket games where i do the prediction like okay my this player is gonna play the best match and should be the man of the match or let's say if we talk about football, people actually look for the best seat where they should be sitting in the match and they think about like, okay, my team is going to win the match. So how does this prediction they are doing? Let's sit on a particular system right now and talk about the prediction and start the game of MATLAB. Okay, before going into the coding part and its implementation, I would like to show you the application which has been built for this YouTube Premiere. In this application, you will be seeing the result only and only on the basis of mathematics. Please do not involve your emotions in it for a particular country or a player. You need to understand that this application is based on the performance parameter selected and given and most importantly on the probability of occurrence of a situation. A team might be performing better in the last couple of years, but another team may have a superior performance since the beginning. A team might have played less than 5 games in a year or a team might have played more than 30 games in a year. All these parameters are taken into consideration and we have the luxury to choose which data we would like to use for our game prediction. I will be showing you how the data has been recorded and fetched later, how the data has been modified and how to make these work. All the condition would be shown as we go ahead in the episodes. Uh, you will be seeing these different parameters which right now I am hovering my mouse with. Uh, what do you want me to select the data initially? Let's just choose the opponents. I am taking all competitions and the last 5 years as the time span as well as I am trying to get the data. We are assuming data like the equal probabilities of winning and losing in case there is uh, less amount of information available or uh, for the selected period. 
Everything in this application is without any bias and with full support to mathematics and its fundamentals. So what are we waiting for? Let us start the game and see the prediction of ODI Cricket World Cup 2019 today in MATLAB with MATLAB helper in association with Arawat Foundation. We do the impossible. I have clicked on start. The game started. The first game was between England and South Africa. You will also see the result happening in the command window itself. The game between England versus South Africa was won by the South Africa. As we have progressed between different games, the conditions are uh, differently portraying with the pie chart as well. Whenever you want to see the point table, you can just click on stop. So for example, this time I clicked on a stop when the match number 11 has been played out. So the match number 11 had the result where Pakistan versus Sri Lanka was the match and Sri Lanka was the winner of this match. Pakistan had the probability of uh, more than like 50% as per this pie chart. Uh, Alright, so by the time the point table came, when another match got played with. So this match is between England versus Bangladesh and Bangladesh won it. Bangladesh had less probability of winning it, but still it, uh, it has a chance where the probability of occurrence is there. So even Though let's assume it's a 0.4 uh, or 0.45 as the chance of Bangladesh winning and 0.55 as the chances of England winning, probability of occurrence of Bangladesh win is also possible in this game. So every time and every new iteration you will perform, we are pretty sure that the result which will come will be different. And that's how the probability works. A fun part is this is the game of mathematics and not of the emotion. So by the time this match has been played, uh, this is the current point table. South Africa has played most, uh, oh sorry, won most number of matches, that is three. And India played very, uh, like India only played one match and it lost. So do you want to check India played with which team? Well, South Africa was the team. South Africa played with India and South Africa lost that game. So now let's go back to the application and see what will happen when we continue the game ahead. I clicked on start. So from the same point the game started. Uh, India again performed not so well. India versus Australia and Australia was the winner. Let's hope how the next set of games come around. So there are different chances of everything is happening over here. England versus Afghanistan, England won the game. This pie chart is continuously changing with the different game scenarios. So I hope you can check this out. By the time around third, fourth of this series or the league stage is over, like at 31 games, what is the point table? We would like to check this out. So. 32 number of matches has been played as of now. South Africa is at the top with 6 won, 1 lost and 18 points. Afghanistan is at the bottom with only 1 win and 6 loss of the game. Do you think South Africa, Australia, New Zealand and West Indies will be the 4 team who will be competing in the semi-final? Let's see, how does this thing go? Let's click on start button. So by the time we will reach to the final of league stage, we would have played 45 games. I would like to stop one time more before the 45th game is complete. So I would like to inform that the next World Cup, which is happening in England in 2019 is is going to have 45 league stage games where 10 teams will, will be competing against each other. All teams will be playing in a round robin structure with nine, uh, one team playing 9 matches in the league stage. So the teams, the top 4 teams from the league stage would go to the semi-final. Uh, the top ranked team would be competing with the 4th top ranked team. Second top ranked team would, will be competing with the third top ranked team. Of all the semi-finalists, the first and fourth team will compete 
second and third team will compete and the two finalists will be competing at Lords to get the final coveted trophy of ODI World Cup 2019. Let's see how the, the game proceeds. Okay. All right, 44 game and the 45th game. So by the end of 45th game, this point table will automatically come to show what is the current status of the league table. So the top four teams are South Africa, New Zealand, Sri Lanka and England. Semi-final one was played between South Africa and England. It was won by the England. Second played between New Zealand and Sri Lanka and won by Sri Lanka. And the final would be played between England and Sri Lanka. And England wins the World Cup. Runner up for the World Cup 2019 is Sri Lanka. Well, this is completely based on the mathematics. So we cannot say who exactly is going to win emotionally. Being an Indian, I would prefer India would won the match or as well as this trophy. But being a mathematical fan on this auspicious day of National Mathematics Day, which we are celebrating on the occasion of birth date of Acharya Sri, Nama, Sri Ramanujan, we hope mathematics wins this World Cup. Now, I would like to show you how I have fetched the data for this World Cup schedule as well as the data being played for all the matches in different condition, in different time span, in different places and how you can also do the same. I have used the help of ES, ESPN Crick Info for the same. You would go through stats.espncrickinfo.com and you can also get these data directly through the website. What I have done is I have created a lot of condition in their ODI parameter. So I will be going into the stats guru of ODI. Here we need the records of team since I am doing all the statistics based on the team's performance rather than someone's individual performance. So we go into this page and find out like okay these are the different parameters these these are the things we can differentiate the teams and records and find out the statistics for us. So for example we can choose which team you want the record to see of. Let's say if you want to see the record of India only you can select India. However we are just going to take the data of all the teams and later process it to fetch the data only for the 10 teams who are going to play in the World Cup. So we are going to keep teams as all teams. In same way we are going to keep opposition as all teams. Uh, home or away for now we are going to keep everything as full. In host country we can choose an option England since the host would be England for this ODI World Cup. We will be doing it all countries for the two option that is one when we are considering the performance in across the format, uh, across all the competitions or we can also see the condition of performance in the different World Cup. We also have this option of, option of starting date so we can either pick from the data available since 1971 till 2018 or we can do it directly with last 10 years, last 5 years or we can do the changes and get the data. In the old season part this is based on a particular year if you want to get the data of a match between uh, two teams being played for a particular year you can also get this thing you can differentiate the result basis on the basis of one match lost match tied match or no result and the viewing format so this is something uh, let's say if I want to start directly I'll be keeping last 10 years period all teams against all teams across all seasons and we want to see the performance on the basis of on the basis of what should I say by the host country no we haven't selected the option of host country so let's just keep it overall figure and let's see how the result comes I'm clicking on submit query great so we see the statistics based of last 10 years this is the match being played how many match has been won by a team lost tied no result uh, win by loss ratio, 
एवरेज रन पर ओवर इनिंग्स हाई स्कोर लो स्कोर सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन विच वी रिसीव्ड ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेरी वी हैव सबमिटेड नाउ आई वॉन्ट दिस डेटा ऑन आर मैटलैप प्लेटफॉर्म सिंस ई एस पी एन हैज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड देयर एक्सेस ऑफ ई पी आईज वी नीड टू डू इट मैनुअली इफ यू आर एन एक्सपर्ट इन कोडिंग एंड प्रोग्रामिंग यू कैन ऑल्सो क्रिएट मैनुअल स्टेप बाय स्टेप इंस्ट्रक्शन थ्रू ग्रबर थ्रू पाइथन थ्रू विच यू कैन एक्चुअली फैच दिस डेटा एंड सेव इट इन टू एक्सेल बट फॉर दिस सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू वट आई हैव डन सो दैट आई कैन टॉक अबाउट द मैथमेटिक्स एंड सेलिब्रेट दिस मैथमेटिक्स डे विथ यू आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सेल शीट i'm going to create a new excel sheet so this is for 10 years period so let's just rename it 10y and let's get the statistics from top till the bottom part copy it and paste it directly let's do it one by one for all the years for this particular scenario so how would you do that we will go to return to query menu uh instead of 10 years we will untick it let's make it last 5 years and again we'll cl click on submit query so i get a new statistics again i'll be copying it i'll create a new sheet in the excel for 5 years period let's do it quickly one by one for four year three year two year one year so i'm removing this option going four years submit query who is the team which is winning most number of matches in last four years it's england when we were talking about five years and 10 years it was india that's a good thing so for four years you have the data so i hope you are following me i am getting the data of all team versus all teams with overall figure for a span of different uh, time period let's just do it for 3 year 2 year 1 year so 3 years submit query What do you think? Which team is going to win this ODI World Cup? <laughs> you can also mention which team you want to win, and let's see whether that team would uh, would win the match when we are going to play in our competition or in our application. By the way, do you know Ramanujam is recognized as one of the greatest mathematician of his time? but he had almost no formal training in math matlab is a part of math matrix what do you think matlab would be without math same is the case with us the interest in a particular subject along with a few motivation can lead us to be successful want to be successful try and do something from your own end or get help of the organization which you are getting aspired from i'll be doing it for last 12 month and clicking on submit query that is the one thing which i was mentioning earlier uh there are few teams which have played more number of games there are few teams which even has not played proper five matches in last one year so when such kind of conditions come 
we need to figure out or we need to consider or we need to make some assumptions in order to get the result also to make the result proper you will be noticing that there is a span in different sheets for year 3 year 2 year but there isn't a span in it so let's just make it a column of span so that we know when we will be converting into the excel from excel to matlab we will have a proper structure across all the sheets let's just take result for all the time period i'll just click on cross over here so that we can get the data of all matches being played you will notice that australia has played 919 matches since beginning and have won 557 matches that's a very huge number let's just rename it all and let's keep it over here so i'll save this excel file this is one of the file which contains the result team versus team and it gives us full performance uh, rather than team versus team it's an information of team versus all opposition so what if we want to create the data of individual team versus team and we want to find out what is happening let's figure out how you, we will be doing that as well i'll be going to return to query menu we need to find out the result based on the opposition team so i'm choosing by opposition team and let's click on submit query now in this option we are seeing a lot of rows so to make the data pretty to us and to get the data in a proper manner we will be using advanced filter in advanced filter we can choose how many elements are going to come so in a single operation so i'm choosing 200 uh, we are going to sort the result let's keep it def uh, default sort we need the result against a position team we want to group by each team that is also fine sort result by okay let's keep it by team name and any changes which you would like to suggest okay let's do it for match type trophy all right so we have an option word cup over here i can actually do it for uh, let's see all team versus all team we want to see the data by a position team i'm just clicking on submit query this is for all world cup which has been played as of now so we are going to see the records for that so as of now let's say afghanistan versus australia only one match has been played as of now between the two teams and uh, afghanistan lost that match uh, let's see australia versus india so since 1983 india has played 11 matches with australia india has lost three matches australia has won eight matches uh, win by loss ratio for Australia is 2.666 so what we are going to do this time is uh, we are going to copy all the values so let's do it and till here I'll do it for the new excel sheet I'm pasting it now there is something remaining so I'll click on next okay so we'll copy from Sri Lanka and go to the last part which is West Indies and paste it in the bottom so let me just paste it over here all right so this is a way in which you can get the data from ESPN Crick Info Stats Guru and you will find it in Excel that you will get all the data we will need to make some processing in order to uh, make this data compatible with all the sheet we will be talking about this logic as we go ahead uh, let's just I'll just discuss what are the parameters which I have done 
even before this session i have uh, uh, saved all the data so that it uh, we doesn't waste much of the time in doing this operation so i would be showing you what kind of data i already have so let's say team performances so this was first sheet in team performance we have the data of full matches so all matches has been played 10 years 5 years 4 years 3 years this is for team performance next i have team performances in england so the same all teams which are performing in england so we have the data for them since beginning all time period so for this you will be noticing that england obviously being playing in england has the most number of matches across all the years so 10 years 5 years 4 years in one year so in last one year in england there has been the matches between england and india and england and australia now what do you think will happen if we talk about england versus south africa in this circumstance so in these kind of situation when we do not have any data for a particular country for a particular situation what we are going to do is we are going to assume either an equal probability of 0.5 and 0.5 winning and losing or let's say if we consider tie also as one of our scenario we will consider it in such a way that is occurrence or probability is going to happen so for example i can choose 0.45 as winning and losing both and re remainder which is 0.1 as the chances of happening of tie so these are all the things which we will discuss as we go ahead uh, i'll just quickly show you the remaining part team performances in world cup so the world cup which has been played by last four years so i'm keeping the data from all 10 years five years four years nothing beyond four years because we are going to play the world cup in next year now next sheet is team versus team so this sheet contains the performance of team versus team that is the why when one team meets another opposition then what would be the performance parameters so again this is containing the full result all 10 years 5 years 4 years 3 years 2 years 1 years and in the similar fashion we have done it for team versus team in england team versus team in world cup wherever there is something mismatch is happening between columns so we have tried to bring the columns or bring the excel sheet into a similar structure once we have done that we are prepared to get these data into matlab we will be talking about this in our next session so i hope you guys have enjoyed this part and you are pretty much excited to learn about the data fetching as well as excited about the game we are going to play for odi cricket world cup by matlab with MATLAB, with MATLAB help. <laughs> All right. All right. Now I'll be talking about the other conditions which we can do using this Stats Guru. Uh, let's see. We can. I have already told you about. We can select different span. We have seen that. We can select the World Cup. What if we just want to see the result in England? What if we just want to see the result between two teams, let's say India versus Australia, but in England? How will we do that? That is, we are going to keep the host country as England. And uh, for example, I'm going to choose India over here. Opposition, let's keep it as Australia. Let's keep it for all the time it can. And let's do the submit query. So this is an example, let's see India versus Australia, there have been three matches in England, India have won one, lost two. If we want to change the view, let's say we, were, we can actually go to return to query menu, change menu would just show the result in a different portrait. Now rather than just keeping it for India, what if we choose all teams and we are going to have choose another choose another just keep it england selected for the full span and let's say last 12 months period or rather than last 12 months let's start from last 10 years period and let's click on submit query again 
now that is in last 10 years whichever team has played in england and how many matches has been played whatever the conditions are so these kind of information are received now so let's say australia versus bangladesh in england so one match has been played i mean these conditions we uh, you will notice that afghanistan is one of the participant of world cup 2019 and it hasn't played any match in england what is going to happen for it well, this is the condition at which we will be talking about we will be adding the probability of assumption where we are going to have uh, maybe 0.5 maybe 0.45 but we will be discuss it and we are going to keep an assumption in those conditions let's go back return to query menu and just discuss what all the conditions we will be making i'll be taking the basic filter for a reference for now so we are going to have team versus team we are going to have team versus all teams two sheets patterns in the first sheet pattern it is like an opposition particular one team versus particular another team and then it would be have a different parameters of whether it is taking for uh, from all competition whether it is talking about world cup only and whether it is talking about a host country of england only and that if we go in depth it will become we are going to talking uh, we are going to talk about last one year or last two year last three four five ten or since beginning so this condition uh, this condition is supposed to be happen in all competition and in england in world cup it will be up till four year only because world cup happens only in four years so that's is about team versus team thing in the similar fashion regarding our team versus all opposition it's a, like a team performance thing uh, it will be in a similar pattern though whole team performance across all competition across world cup or in england and again divide them into different time span one year two year three year four year five year ten year and since beginning so this is all i have done already and i am going to show you the data for the same so for example this is team versus team in england now you would be noticing that sorry i am showing you team versus team in world cup so you will be seeing that it has four sheet all 10 year five year four year and we have all the information i have already added a column name span wherever the excel sheet or wherever the data from stats guru didn't brought the span this is again to make the data similar in a pattern and to make it uh, possible for us to operate it uh, in a normal way there is one weird part though it's having team afghanistan versus australia what we need is afghanistan into one column and australia in the another column what shall we do shall we do it manually all the task of changing moving from one australia to another then we need to remove the row as well there's a lot of effort in it why shouldn't we use matlab for it great so we will be talking about these operations in the part when we will be talking about the conversion of data from excel to matlab file but for now let's just quickly see what all the data we already have so this is the information regarding team versus team in england team versus team so this is overall uh, team versus team so all the thing are there uh, other than that we already have schedule of world cup so i have already saved it into the excel file the match number date team one team two venue day night uh, if we want to expand the horizon of our program we can utilize these result as well as we can create customize like based on the value we can uh, get we can choose whether the function will be having value directly of uh, a particular ground or whether what team is performing in a day night match we can do that 
but to keep this program simple for this session we are going to keep it like team 1 versus team 2 and we are not going to consider the venue and uh, whether it's day night and all this condition but this has a scope for future which can be done there are a lot of scope into this program you can actually have multiple situations multiple condition multiple factors into it mathematics is so big that you can keep on adding new factors keep on improving the efficiency until and unless you are satisfied with it okay great okay so in this session we talked about how we are going to simulate the application we also talked about the fetching of the data through ESP in Crick Info. We have talked about the fetching portion of team versus team and team performances. The two parameters we are going to mainly talk about. So apart from that, we have used the concept of all competitions. So any team playing against any team, uh, any team playing against a single team, if you need to find out their treasure. We have also talked about the time span. So let's say in the last 10 years or in last five years, what has happened? Based on the time period, we have uh, going to talk about the cricket result. This has been pretty much taken up. In the next session, we are going to talk about how this information can be used, can be taken up in the MATLAB properly. And we are going to talk about the portion of application simulation. Stay tuned for the next session.